Leo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Leo, sun, moon, and rising sign. It is an energy reading that you call into you when you are ready to receive it. And it will cast out for the week ahead for the next seven days. I'm going to do a seven day breakdown for you guys. Leo, this is where we begin. Transformation is beautiful, ain't it though? Hey, honey, Leo's, Leo tribe, what's up, my folks? Isn't it wonderful to just get more beautiful? Like, for real. <laughs> I mean, and that's what transformation is. It's not about physical beauty. It's the kind of beauty that Leo is actually about. And that is courage, internal beauty, a kind of beauty that it don't even fucking matter how good you look. You're going to walk into the room where people are going to turn their heads because this, your heart, is actually what shines. And it, it puts itself out there in front of everybody. Now, this is leveling up. It's owning your next evolution. It's owning who you are becoming, right? And becoming that. It's Leo 2.0 or 3.0, wherever you are. You're leveling, you're leveling up. This is what butterfly means. There's an awakening. That's the 11 aspect of this card. There is an awakening to what you can do and all you are capable of and all that you deserve, my lovelies. So let's get deeper. Leo, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, please, because when you are subscribed, you can get notified if you remember to also ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you will know when I go live to do free tarot card readings. And you'll also know when I upload your favorite content. If you are looking for a personal reading, please do go and book and schedule on my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. You book and schedule the reading that works for you now. And you'll get your answers within 24 hours of your scheduled booking time. So it's a pretty quick turnaround and I'm happy to help. Leo, whatever cards fall out as I am dividing the deck, I'm just going to leave because it means it's part of the message. And we're almost there, I promise. Ooh, okay. One more. Let's go. Okay. Let's cleanse the energy. Okay, this has big in part to do with the past because there's a lot that's coming out in the past and honestly, it's what leads up to our evolution. And for some reason, the universe wants me to review it because there's something here that you need to know. The past doesn't show up in my readings unless what's going on now and what's going to happen is a direct result of that. So it's important to go over it. Be here now is in reverse. You didn't see the beauty in something in the past. You didn't see the beauty in the moment. Or it was somebody that didn't see the beauty in you. Whatever it is, whoever it was, this was beauty that was missed. By not being present in the moment. By thinking maybe, oh, isn't that cool? By thinking maybe too much in the past. You see how that just, that was cool. By thinking maybe too much in the past, right? This sense of, oh, I don't know, just, just missing it. Missing it, missing the moment. Watch and wait. Somebody was impatient because this was all lopsided and then let it shine. 
is almost like somebody didn't say what they had to say or they didn't they weren't fully present and didn't let themselves shine or really didn't enjoy or appreciate whatever was in front of them and you must be aware of this right because there's an awareness here why is it coming all back around right now uh hello we are evolving to become something beautiful we are evolving to become something bigger than we were before and then we have the miracles are endless abundance surrounds you right now my friends like leo this is beautiful energy transforming transcendence prosperity resources something was unseen unnoticed unrealized fell short and now bitch hello butterfly baby all eyes on you okay stop we have turned knowledge into wisdom is almost crowning your reading it's a little bit into the future you know what this talks about this talks about the moon so you better wait till about july 21st it could be a something going on there for you guys this sense of turn knowledge into wisdom suddenly you will have intel that you will need or you will have emotional insight into a circumstance or a situation i say it because this is very moon energy so um it'll it'll feel whole it'll feel complete it'll answer the whys it'll answer the questions right You're still about two weeks out but that's okay that's okay and then we have because this flipped over you saw it happen time to heal but it's in reverse but you know what i immediately felt when i saw that this sense of this is what you're getting knowledge into a situation that was fucked up but now you see the poison clearly and now you're knowledgeable enough and realize enough what's not to be trusted and why because we've been here before my friends but now we've processed it to a point where we can cognitively um cognitively access it which means you've learned you've learned your lesson and there's no bitterness there's no anger there's just a i know what you are when i see it and i'm not falling into the same pit again i'm not doing it this could also be a sense of now i know what i need to heal and being able to do it i want to clarify snake in reverse please before we get into our seven day play by play uh this got to do with leo this got to do with knight of wands got to do with you being able to move on and move forward and move away and stand in your own through death the death of something that wasn't working now all of a sudden there's clarity here clarity in why things did not work out which it just so happens you kind of already freaking knew and you're ready to heal from see how this is all working out insight into what caused you heartache so you can start again listen many different ways to read these cards let's get into it seven day let's start with day seven we're gonna we're gonna pick the final day to see how it resolves god how does this all resolve so then we can go for the day by day day one through six how does this all resolve day seven we're gonna do seventh day how does this all resolve you ready leo day one could be tuesday monday sunday wednesday it don't matter it's the day you see this video there's the tower and you remember the tower appeared in the clarification so let's pay attention to this something had to be done it's it's not a choice this is a kind of a shock a surprise something all falls down and crumbles or or that's when the walls come down uh, major disappointment here when it could be with a Taurus or it could be financial, financial institution coming and disappointed people or all coming down or disappointed in something that you thought you could depend on. 
because that's Taurus energy, a sense of, oh, you thought this would be forever, but everything, nothing is forever. Everything's got to change. So this would have been something traditional, maybe even disappointed somehow in something traditional or disappointed in could be a marriage or just a traditional value system, disappointed in something that you thought you could count on. Okay. What about day two? Listen, disappointment is clarity. And that's why I still got a smile on my face. I'm not afraid of disappointment. I'm afraid of the lack of clarity and the confusion and the, you know, the things that would make me make stuff up in my head instead of know the truth about something. So this is the truth about something. And it may definitely disappoint you, but that's okay because it also clarifies what's for you and what's not. So let's go day two. Day two, remember this also showed up in the clarifiers, is a new start, new beginning, or being handed a wand. Being handed a wand. It's not a peace offering. It's an opportunity. And it's an exciting opportunity. It will, it will inflame your passion. This could be a new interest. Just a, a, It's a new sense of purpose. Let's put it that way. Renewed sense of purpose. It's like maybe you weren't ready to let something go. Well, you will be by day two because you'll see something so much better or something that inspires you again, right? The old stuff. Leos are loyal. You're fixed signs. It takes a long time for you to say, oh, it, it, this isn't work anymore because you're like, you don't never say die. And then we have, move it on. We got the six of swords there too, remember? Now we're ready to move on because we know it's the right time. We're ready to take, now Leo, you're ready to take your fate into your own hands on day three. By day three, God bless day three, we're ready to take our fate into our own hands. We're ready to move. We're ready to move forward. Or we have solved, we fixed it. We've solved the solution. We understand that there are options now, ready to move forward. So there's a lot of answers that get to come to us day three. What about day four? <clears throat> we have standing on your own two feet, but not necessarily knowing how, right? There's a value that comes in, but ultimately um, not being sure of something still. I think you're sure of your value, but you're not necessarily sure, okay, okay, somebody's now, it's almost like somebody's now giving you credit where credit is due, but you're wary of whether or not they have any value to you. And that's okay. Because clearly, I'm not sure, right? Why should I be sure? You shouldn't be. If you're not sure, you shouldn't be sure because something didn't earn the value in you to make you sure. So you shouldn't be sure. Trust, trust your hesitancy, right? It's not uncertainty. It's certainty that somebody don't deserve, even if they're giving you credit where credit is due. It's certainty that, well, okay, I've given them the reason to believe in me. Uh, they got to earn that shit from me. Hello? It's almost like that, that you know, you got to be careful with flattery, right? Because I'm, I, you got to know you deserve the flattery. You got to know that you, you deserve the credit that somebody's given. But that doesn't mean they've won your loyalty. You don't owe them your loyalty or giving them credit just because they finally give you credit. Okay. What's next? Then we have day five. You are you know your magic. You know your power. And you know your capabilities. This is the essence of I can make anything work. So this really is a beautiful week of awakening to your powers and your abilities. And your... Mm. Day six.
Day six. Oh, I love it. Freedom, bitch. This is like, I'm not carrying the weight of the world anymore. I see the truth. I know the beauty of life. I'm not carrying any, I'm not carrying the weight. This is liberty. This is moving forward. This is forward progress. This is it. We got to get to day seven, but let's get a moon card. Moon, please let us know. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Oh, so there's a little bit of clarification here because we're headed toward the full moon. We already know we have that time frame here. So even though this is a seven day spread, we already know this is kind of casting out for two weeks. Look what it says. The end of a tough cycle approaches. What do you think is coming up in two weeks on July 21st? It's a full moon in Capricorn. It is legitimately giving us the time, date, and place. Full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches, which is why you're able to like free yourself, liberate yourself. And day five is about knowing what to do. And day six is about I'm now I'm getting freed. I'm getting liberated. I, I'm shedding the burdens. And then it's like surrender to the divine around this full moon. Because there's this, and what does the divine tell you around this full moon? The, the divine is telling you, let go. But you're, it's almost like saying you're finally able to. You're finally able to securely detach. Not, oh, wishy-washy. No, no, no. Now I'm done. This cycle is completed. It's finished. I'm good. And I'm liberated. It's not even just freeing from the burdens. I'm liberated. Now I want to move forward. Now I know which direction to go. Right? That's beautiful. Hold on. Let's do day seven. We're going to do day seven over in the extended Leo's. But let me pull a card. Oh, building blocks. What are you building? Oh, loyal heart. That's not got to do with love. What's going on there? It's almost like being able to like, I don't know, get yourself to a place of being able to build something maybe with somebody else. The building blocks for truth or truly seeing one another or truly being present or showing up for somebody else word okay what is the building blocks it's almost like we were shedding that skin maybe there was just some shit we had to get through to be able to get to the good stuff the stuff where we can actually start to but start to build we start to build what we want to build instead of the old stuff the stuff that was there before the stuff that was there in the beginning built with all the baggage and all the expectations of what had happened before and it's almost like no you got to tear that shit down so you can build something new ground up but being willing finding a person who's willing to do that with you right i don't know if this is a current relationship or a new relationship but there's a sense of of being in a position to tear down the old crap and the old construct and then be able to rebuild brand new with somebody else. Let's do this card and day seven, we're going to the extended. I'll see you guys there. The link is down below in the description box and you can find it at the top of the comment section. Click.